In this video, I will test Comico Boom X-U wireless microphone outdoors to find out how far you could go to keep the connection between the receiver and the transmitter. Once we finish that test, then we will come back indoors and test the internal microphone as I'm using now, as well as by connecting the lavalier microphone to the transmitter and then testing the audio quality. So let's get started. It's a windy day on top of a bridge, so you better put on the wind muff in order to reduce the wind noise. So I'm gonna start riding now and see when there will be a dropout in the sound and from my recording of my voice. So let's start the journey. Okay, we continue going this long bridge and hopefully as we get further, the signal will still be there and we know that the range of this microphone is long enough. We are looking for around 120 meters. That's what says on the specification. So if you get too far away, obviously it will be visible on the camera and there is no sense of going any further away. Obviously you could use camera and maybe get a closer shot at even though you're far away. Let me have a look now. Yes, uh, I definitely is more than 120 meters. As you can see, the camera is almost not visible on this second camera. I start now riding back to the camera. I don't know how far it is. 20 meters. I'm riding back and I'm gonna make another stop and I get a bit closer. And here is another stop and now I'm talking. If this wireless microphone can record me from such a far distance, this is a good achievement. Obviously, there's a little breeze and that would a bit distort the but it should be all okay let's continue now towards the camera and the receiver which is our main thing so this is a proper distance and am i visible on the camera yeah. okay i'm visible on the camera from this range you could get very nice shots because if the voice could come from such a long distance and you get a big wide shots from this far distance you could create fantastic scenes and you could create a nice uh, action scenes running scenes so many different ideas with this wireless microphone that's the beauty of having a wireless microphone so let's start moving now to the camera and finish the recording by the way it's a very nice day today so i have now connected the internal mic of this wireless microphone and i'm talking through the internal mic as you can see so we can also compare the lavalier mic connected to the transmitter against using the internal mic directly. Now that we have connected the wireless microphone to our DSLR camera, we can record from quite a far distance without the interruption of wire connected to the DSLR. I hope you found this video useful. If you want to learn more, please don't forget to follow my playlist on BoomX-U, which you can find in here. That would also include a full review of the same microphone. And to support my channel, please don't forget to subscribe in here. Until next time, bye-bye.